Today's emulation video, I will be making it on the Intellivision or Mattel Intellivision uh, video game console, which was released in 1979 by Mattel. And the company was bought by INTV or changed to INTV in 1984. And this video game console um, had a lifespan of 11 years from 1979 to 1990. That's a quite, quite a long, uh, service life. Cause, um, in my opinion, the Intellivision was pretty much obsolete when, um, video game consoles like the Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Master System, and Atari uh, 7600 came out. It really couldn't compete with those video game consoles in terms of uh, in terms of graphics, gameplay, and features. Basically, it really couldn't compete at all. It really doesn't look very good, and I'll sh I'll be showing you this when I run the emulator and run some games on it. So about three million units were sold from 1980 to 1983. I don't know what happened after 1983. But I guess they were still making programs up to 1990 and by na late 1980 or late 1980s um 16 bit video game systems were coming into the market like the Sega Genesis so it stayed in business a lot longer than it should have actually it's kind of like a the controller is kind of like the ColecoVision's controller in a way it has this number pad on it like that I like the ColecoVision the control is controller is a bit is kind of like awkward like the ColecoVision's controller. I don't think, I think the biggest uh, weakness of the ColecoVision was the controller. And the way the controller goes into the console is similar to the ColecoVision. As a reset switch and a on and off switch. Yeah, I prefer the, I prefer joystick. Or a gamepad, which was uh, on the NES or the Sega Master System postal controller like this. It's not very easy to use. It's not comfortable to use either. I guess uh, the reason why they stopped producing in television uh, video game consoles was partly due to the video game crash of 1983. And... Prior to 1983, you had a lot of low-quality games released from uh, companies like Atari. There's a lot of Atari 2600 games being pretty bad. I remember uh, playing E.T. I had E.T. for the Atari 2600, and I have to say that was probably the worst game I ever played in my life. It... It couldn't be considered a game. It was it was awful in every way. And uh, let's get to it now. Um, so the emulator on uh, RetroArch is called Free INTV. This is what you have to download in RetroArch to use it. You'll need some BIOS files. This one and this one. I will show you where to get and these are the file extension formats that you can use for this emulator and this is the buttons for it download the BIOS pack here you could get the games on this um, place and this URL or website. You could download it individually or you could download it uh, yeah individually. There's a lot of games here. Or you could go to my abandoned where and get some in television games.
Stupid cool. I know that one. Star Strike. Never heard of that. I can take it down like that. Good thing about my abandon where they show you the game pictures and that's pretty useful. Space Armada. It's like a Space Invader type of game. Looks interesting. Sharp Shot. No idea what that is. I guess I could download it. Pac-Man. We all know Pac-Man. The one for the television. Okay, so I got my game as I got the ROM files. Let's begin. Go to your RetroArch folder. Mine is in here. Let me go to that BIOS pack file. Which is this one. It says I needed two files. This one, exec.bin and grom.bin. I need these two in the systems folder. Just like that. I already have them in there, so that's why it says that. But if you don't, then you just put it in there. And I made a folder called or I will make a folder called in television. Well, I actually did. And put some games in there as well. Space Armada in television. See what else? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's see, Super Cobra. Everything else is in there. Good. I'm going to start uh, Retro Arc. What I do now is I want to load the emulator, download it. It's this one right here. Just download that. We start RetroArch. And then go to Show Desktop Menu. Just go here and uh, make a playlist. I made this one right here and then associate it with uh, this one, which is the Intellivision emulator. I already put some games in there. I'm going to put another one. Space Armada in there. Close this again. Go back here. Press F to go to full screen. Restart. Retro arc. 
I should be able to see in television, which is right there. I'll be playing some games on it, so I'll BB. It should run because I have the BIOS. One of the things here you have to do is you need to go to uh, options, which is hot button start. Go to controls and you need to set it to retro pad with analog or it's not going to work. That's all you got to do to get the game to work. Press start again to unpause it. Start is pause. So I'm going to press a button. Graphics look pretty terrible. You look at the, if you look at Commando for um, Atari 7800 or the NES. Differences like between heaven and earth. Okay, so let me get out of here. Close that. I'll run another game. Dig Duck. And again, you got to go to the menu. And this is the annoying thing about it. You have to go to controls again and set it to retro pad with analog. Every time. For every game. Another game. Do this routine again. Okay, as for the number pad thing. Uh, you press uh, R1 on your controller like that. And you could select the numbers that you could see in the top, uh, bottom right, left corner. It's one player, okay. And then press uh, B, I think. Start it like that. I think Pac-Man looks a little bit better than Atari 2600, but definitely it's not better than a, the NES version or the Atari, Atari 7800 or anything like that. Okay, so let me get out of here. Try playing Zaxxon. Same routine. Again, you could use this, you could use, um, to use the number pad thing. Um, it's left, it's, um, R1, it's L1, I'm sorry, left, L1, left, one on the top, and then press, press B, and then to select the next one, use your D-pad to move, basically, press L1, D-pad to move, press B. Oh, okay, that's not very good at that game. Oh, my.
Popeye's like. Same routine. L1. Level 1. Okay, that's it. That's pretty much for this video. If you have any questions, have any thoughts, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.